Bible says, but when Esther came before the king, he commanded by letters that his wicked device, which he devised against the Jews, should return upon his own head, and that he and his sons should be hanged on the gallows. In the book of Genesis chapter 48, verse 13 to 14, the Bible says, And Joseph took them both, Ephraim in his right hand towards Israel's left hand, and Manasseh in his left hand towards Israel's right hand, and brought them near unto him. 14. And Israel stretched out his right hand, and laid it upon Ephraim's head, who was the younger, and his left hand upon Manasseh's head, guiding his hands wittingly, for Manasseh was the firstborn. Close your eyes. Say, every power that is using my glory to shine, you are a liar. Die in the name of Jesus. Every power that is using my glory to shine, you are a liar. Die in the name of Jesus. Every power that is using my glory to shine, you are a liar. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You are welcome to Evangelist Joshua TV, a TV station that will teach you how to interpret your dreams with warfare prayers. If you are just watching this video for the very first time, you are most welcome. Or you are this channel for the first time, you are most welcome. What are we discussing today? Our topic is 20 warning signs that show someone is using your destiny. 20 warning signs that shows someone is using your destiny. But no wonder in the book of John chapter 10 verse 10, the Bible says categorically that the devil cometh not to steal, to kill, and to destroy, that he has come to bring light unto us. Do you feel someone is using your destiny? Are you wondering who that person is? Do you suddenly find out your power, your wealth, your fame, your position, and no more? Is there anyone you are suspecting might have stolen or using your, using your destiny to shine, to prosper, to marry, and to gather blessings for themselves? Are you working hard and you feel your blessing is being diverted and used at the advantage of others? If yes is your answer, then someone is using your destiny. Fear no more. Panic no more. I decree into your life every power that is laying evil hands upon your head to divert your virtues. I command that virtues to come back to you in the name of Jesus. Come back to you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Brethren across the world, there are many signs and symbols indicated that someone's destiny has been stolen, someone's destiny someone is using your glory to shine to prosper to make wet to gain power to gain longevities and are we talking about this destiny about us then why do people still destiny why do people still destiny why are people wicked people using the destiny of others to shine why what are the purpose number one they steal people's destiny through money because of money number two they steal people's destiny because of power number three they steal people's destiny because of long life they want to have long life number four they steal people's destiny because of fame number five they steal people's destiny because of good fortunes then what are the tools people use frequently to steal and use someone's destiny number one they use terms Terms. They can use terms to take someone's destiny. Number two, they use rings. Rings. They put rings on their hands. Please and please, don't allow, don't allow someone to place a ring on their hand and use it to place that hand on your head. Reject it as a Christian. Number three, true handkerchief. Don't allow them to use handkerchief to rub, to rub your body or rub your head. Number four, true money. Don't pick any money on the ground. Five, true sex. Six, true handshake. Once you begin to have handshake with them, they have taken your glory. Seven, true clothes. Don't borrow people your clothes. Eight, true shoes. Don't borrow people your shoes. And once they borrow them your shoes and they return it back, destiny transaction might have taken in the process. Number nine, true food. Number ten, true oil. Trying to have incest with a man or woman, placing oil, demonic oil on their reproductive organ. They might use it to steal your glory. Number, number 11, 
through pictures, exposing your naked pictures in your house, or giving your friend and families, or giving your friends your pictures, they may use it to profit from your destiny. The, the biblical example of those destiny that have been stolen. Number one, in 2 Samuel chapter 16, verse 1 to 4, the Bible makes us to understand that Ziba, Ziba stole to shine with Mehiboset star by lying against him. Number two, in Genesis chapter 48, Haman shine with the star of Mordecai. Number three, Adonijah wanted to take over the destiny of Solomon. Number four, Samson's glory was stolen by the power of Delilah. Every Delilah in your marriage shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. There are people that steal and use someone's glory either for evil purpose or for their own advantage. They allow you to do the hard work while they divert the blessings automatically and spiritually. This power can empty a, a person's virtues and use it to gain power, fame, position and love for themselves. Wherever you see a suspicious person trying to manipulate you or you discover that someone is using your glory, use the blood of Jesus Christ to scatter their evil agenda against you. The person, the person you think might not have any knowledge, might not be using or might not be attacking or manipulating you, might, they be, might be the person that is responsible for your problems. Either they give you clothes, money or food to eat, then your blessing is gone. In some houses in Africa, especially the diabolical house, the moment you live there or go there by visiting a friend or family, you may have the risk of your glory being diverted and stolen. Gone are the days when people will rob even oil with money and give it to you. Gone are the days when handkerchief is used to steal one's glory by laying them on your head. But now, it is now money, food. They give you these things and they will be ripping of your glory. Get this right. Get this fact right. It is good to do good to people. But some people have taken advantage of it. Someone asked me, Evangeli, if minister of God, is it true? If, is it possible for a minister of God to steal someone's glory? Yes, it can steal someone's glory. True, when the person or when the man of God knows that you have virtues, they want to divert and steal your virtues. It's very sad when you are completely ignorant of this. If you don't have destiny, you have nothing to worry about. But if you have destiny inside of you, you need to guide that destiny very well. Otherwise, people will be using it spiritually for their business to profit themselves. Praise the living Jesus. Your greatest enemy is the power that does not want you to fulfill your destiny. The rate of wickedness preventing people from fulfilling their destiny is on the high side. This, these powers have the capacity to exchange your light with darkness, your success with failure, your head with sickness, your progress with stagnation, your strength with weakness, your handwork with laziness. So in the spirit realm, all the blessings that are supposed to be for you will be diverted to themselves. I pray for you. Every of your blessings that have been diverted today, it shall come back to you in the name of Jesus. What are the 20 warning signs or dreams that show someone is using your glory or someone is, uh, someone is stealing your glory? Number one, if you dream of being a slave, if you are a slave to somebody in the dream, someone is using your glory. You are not subjected under the authority, under the power of somebody. Someone is using your glory. Number two, if you dream and see someone touching your head, whether in the physical world or spiritual world, somebody is just touching your head with a ring, somebody is manipulating your glory. Your destiny has been exchanged. Your power, your blessing will be taken away. That's what it means. Number three, if you dream of your hair cut, if you dream of hair cut, somebody is cutting your hair. Now you begin to ask yourself, where is that air cut? Where, where does it go? You don't know. Somebody is using your, your, your hair as a symbol, as a device to attract your power, to take your virtues, to take your strength, your honor, your grace, your progress, your open doors, your open blessings. Praise the living Jesus. Number four, if you meet a native doctor in the dream, when you see a native doctor in the dream, it means that someone is using your glory. Somebody is using your glory. Somebody is going to a native doctor from shrine to shrine, from altar to altar to manipulate you. For you to see yourself in a native doctor means that somebody has taken something that belongs to you. Maybe your clothes, your hair, your any part of your life, your blessings. Somebody is taking, it, taking them to a native doctor. To do what? To manipulate, to exchange something from you. To attract your blessing, to minus the blessing of God from your life. This is true. 
when you are beginning to feel that you are suspecting somebody, somebody is taking something from you, maybe your neighbor, and they are using that thing to attack you. Praise the living Jesus. Number five, if you dream and see yourself walking naked, when you are walking naked spiritually, that is a life of shame and disgrace. It means that your virtue has been taken away. Your virtue, something, the blessings of God that will cover your shame has been taken away from you. Somebody wants to bring you down. Somebody wants to scatter your expectation. And when you have been walking naked in the dream, they mean that your destiny has been stolen. They will, you begin to ask yourself, where is your garment? Your garment of honor has been taken away. Then the enemy is walking on your destiny. May your enemy never walk on your destiny in Jesus' name. Then number six, number six, if you dream and see yourself having sex frequently, when you are having sex frequently in the dream, there's a bond, there's a connection, there's a covenant between you and the marine world. Once you are taking, when you are having sex, it means that your virtues have been taken away and something has been deposited into your life. And that that came into your life is a satanic anointing. And that anointing will be used demonically to control you. And sometimes it may make it very hard for somebody to be fertile in his or her marriage. So your virtues have been taken away. Your babies have been taken away. Your sperm have been, have been taken away through sex. Your fortune have been taken away. Your position have been taken away through sex. So you have to rebuke and cancel any covenant. Praise the living Jesus. Number seven, if you dream and see yourself sitting on a charm or an object, it means that the enemy wants to bring you down. They want to scatter your, your glory. If you are sitting on a charm, you will lose that position. If you are sitting on a charm on an object in the dream of physical world, that power will be taken away from you. That wealth will be taken away from you. That, your glory will be taken away from you. Then it means that they are using some devices to steal your blessings. Praise the living Jesus. Then number eight, if you dream and see someone stealing your clothes from the cloth line, it means that somebody is using your clothes. Someone has stolen the, your, your, your clothes, of your garment of many colors. You need to use prayer to retrieve that cloth back. Praise the living Jesus. Number nine, if you dream of someone injecting you, when someone is injecting you in the dream, it means that they, they, have, they have taken away your virtues. Something is taken away from you through that injection. Your blood has been taken away. Where is that, where is that blood? You, don't, you can't find it. Then your brain, your potentials, your blessings, your wisdom has been taken away from you. Your, your health, your longevity, your longevity has been taken away from you through injection. That power you have within you has been taken away. Someone is taking away that thing and they want to use that thing to profit their own at their own advantage. You have to cancel it. Any of your virtues that have been taken away from you when you were ignorant, that God should bring it back in Jesus' name. Number 10. If you dream of walking barefooted aimlessly, if you dream of walking barefooted aimlessly, it means that somebody is using your destiny to shine. It means that that is, that is an attack of, of own battles. That's an attack of shame. That's a, an attack of joblessness. That's an attack of poverty and wretchedness. You are walking barefooted. They have taken away your virtues. You have to pray against that. Number 11, if you see yourself aimlessly visiting a market, it means that uh, your virtue has been taken away. That is the spirit of course and covenant. That is the spirit of non-achievement. It's hovering over your life. You need to reject it. Number 12, if you see yourself looking older in the dream, it means that your, 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 your glory, your destiny has expired. It has expired. Why? They have taken away something from you. So you will have that life. You will experience a life of difficulty, hardship, and poverty, hatred, and rejection because you are old spiritually. No, you will have no time for people to come near you. Favor will not come. People will not come and do business with you. People will not come and love you anymore because you are old. Your virtues, your marital virtues have been taken away from you. Number 13, if you dream that all your teeth are falling down, that is an arrow of shame and disgrace. It means that the enemy is working on your destiny. Number 14, if you dream and see strange marks on your body, that is a demonic spiritual incision. It means that the enemy has placed a demonic covenant all upon your life and it shows that somebody is working on your destiny. Somebody is using that mark to manipulate you, to attack you. And that is, an, that is, an, that is a form of spiritual exchange. So once that mark is placed on your body, there's no way somebody can prosper. There's no way somebody can move forward. There's no way somebody can grow in life. There's no way somebody can achieve 
can fulfill destiny because there's a mark, there's a mark of wretchedness in the life of that person. Number 15, if you dream and see yourself working for someone without reward, when you are working for someone without reward, then it means that someone is using your glory. You are working several times, you are working for somebody, instead of that person to, to promote you, to favor you, to reward you, the person is not rewarding you. It means somebody is using your destiny. Praise the living Jesus. Number 16, if you see someone wearing your clothes, if somebody is wearing your clothes, your clothes, somebody is wearing your clothes, it means that that person is using your glory. All the advantages, all the honor, all the blessings that are supposed to be apportioned to you has been diverted. That person is using it to prosper, to do, to make, to accomplish his, his dream, his, his goals. So if you are that kind of person, you might not normally, normally borrow clothes, borrow people's clothes or you wear people's clothes, you have to stop that habit. It's very, very bad. Because the enemy might use it to gain access into your life. Praise the living Jesus. 17. If you dream and see yourself receiving money from strangers, if you are receiving money from strangers, it means that the enemy is attacking your finances. They are using money to entice you. They are using money to initiate you. They are using money to take away your financial glory because they know that you have great potentials within you. So they are using that money as a form of evil donation. To, they put that money inside of you to take away something from you. So if you are that kind of person, you normally take money from people, you normally, take, especially women, you take money from men, or once you take money from them, they want to have sex with you. You need to stop that habit. It's very, very wrong. Number 18, if you dream and see yourself begging, if you are begging in the dream, that is a life of poverty, that is a life of suffering, that is a lack, life of lack, and you are a rich person, and you are seeing yourself begging, the enemy wants to demote you. The enemy wants to exchange your virtues. If you see yourself begging in the dream, you have to pray against bad news. You have to pray against downfall. You have to pray against bewitchment. You have to pray against stagnation because that is where the enemy is planning at you. You have to cancel shame, disgrace, and reproach in your life. Praise the living Jesus. 19. If you dream and see yourself being a slave to your landlord, if you dream yourself being a slave to your landlord, it means that your, head, your landlord has stolen your destiny. It, this is true, especially when you find yourself in a house, in a, in a demonic house, where there's no progress, where there's no accomplishment, you can't fulfill your destiny, there's no good health, there's no honor, there's no power, there's, there's no favor. Favor is not coming. Then it means that your landlord is, has covered your destiny. So you need to deal with that landlord. If you have money, move away from that house. If you don't have money, you have to deal with that strong mind that house. Lastly, number 20. If you dream and see yourself collecting food from someone frequently, that means that the enemy wants to use food as a device to get at you. I pray every demonic food which you have received will not be used to take away your virtues in Jesus' name. Close your eyes. Tell this prayer upon loud and clear. Say, I recover my destiny from the hands of destiny exchangers in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See, every satanic transaction done to my destiny be revoked in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See, anything stolen from my life when I was ignorant be restored in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See, any power controlling me and my virtue spiritually die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you are taking that prayers, congratulations. Your enemy will never steal your virtues again in Jesus' name. If they are taking your virtues, it shall come back to you according to Joel chapter 2, verse 24 to 26 in Jesus' name. Once again, this is Evangelist Joshua from Lagos. Mm -hmm.